Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Welcome. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my last video. Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. A special hello to you if you're new here. In today's video, we will be talking about skincare and I will be showing you guys my skincare routine and also some tips that I've learned that I really wanna share. So guys, I'm not a dermatologist and I'm not telling anyone to go start a random skincare. I'm just showing you what I use and what I think about the products. So if you want to start your skincare, you want to get professional advice first, you want to do your research, you want to make sure that you're putting on your skin the things that are good for it. So first and foremost, I just want to get that out of the way. So I'm in my bathroom and I will not be using all of the products that I usually use, just the basics for now and I will talk about the other products further in the video. Oh, well, let's get into it. cleanser so when I was buying this I didn't really notice that it's for people with oily skin I was just really focusing on the ingredients so because I have dry skin it's actually dried out my skin but it's very good for people who have acne um, you can look it up on your own so what I like to use what I really love to use is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Cleansing Gel um, the bigger version, this, this is just like a mini pack or what do they call it? You know, the free ones, but the bigger, the actual thing is, and it's really chill, right? So guys, one of the things that I recently learned about drying your face is that you're supposed to use a microfiber towel or rag. Don't use the rag that you bathe with. And when you're drying your face, you're not supposed to wipe your face. You're actually supposed to tap it. So guys, after you go in and cleanse, you wanna tone. The toner that I use is this one, also from Amazon, not expensive. I've been using it for more than a year now. It's really long lasting and because you don't use a lot, then it will last you a long time. So you wanna just put a little bit on a cotton pad and just, why you really want to use a toner to get off the extra impurities and this toner is also hydrating, so it's for dry skin. Well, based on what I saw, so that's why I bought it because I have dry skin. See? And it's morning, guys. So, can you imagine, like, after you've spent a day on the road or, you know, it can get really grimy out here. So, use your toner. There's another toner that which I see a lot of people recommend. A lot of people like it. That's the Thayer's, I think. That one. <laughs> the Thayer's um, from Amazon. I'm going to try it after this one is finished. Um, because as much as I like this, I don't really feel like it's impressive. So I'm going to try that one and see how it works out. So guys, let's talk cleansers. The cleansers that I use are this, this, <laughs> this, 
this which i love and this so this cleanser the neutrogena foaming cleanser is what i use when i'm taking off makeup and usually i'll use the wipes or i'll use both but if i don't have the wipes i'll use this twice and i don't use it for any other purpose than when i'm taking off makeup now my favorite moisturizer to use is this the Aveeno. oh my goodness positively radiant this is such a good moisturizer and it has soy in it which is good for evening your skin tone and for helping with hyperpigmentation so on the box it says it evens your skin tone and texture fights the early signs of skin aging and reduce the look of dark spots it says clinically proven to even skin tone and texture total soy complex it's what i'm using now mostly and this also has sunscreen in it avina is just such a good brand i really like them this is another moisturizer which i find is so good it it's it, they call it a facial moisturizing lotion but you'll see it somewhere as a sunscreen so even though it says facial moisturizing lotion its main purpose is for sunscreen some people don't like this because it leaves like a white what do you call it like a white patch over your skin but you really shouldn't use a lot and you, you have to know how to rub it in your skin so you don't get that white mark but CeraVe or CeraVe or CeraVe I do not know what it is called I, 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 I don't I really don't but they have a wide variety of moisturizers and cleansers you really want to check them out if you have skin issues and you of course ask your dermatologist first but this is so good I really love it and pink pink grapefruit it has a, a really nice but I really love it I've been using this for years I really love it it's my baby I love the smell of this I love what it does it's everything you need in a jar it says on here it's good for eczema or acne treatment or and acne treatment it improves skin tone and reduce pigmentation and it has a really really nice limey fresh scent it's lovely and then this other one that I use is from L'Oreal it's a face mask it's clay based uh, this one really takes out the impurities out of your skin and also gives it a brighter look I really, really like them hey. <laughs> So guys, the first thing you want to do is make sure to consult your dermatologist because everybody's skin is different. You really want to know what works for you and what doesn't work. Like for me, I have dry skin, dry to oily skin. So probably what works for me will not work for you. So you want to know what your skin type is. Please, please wash your hands before you wash your face. Because think of all the impurities on your hand that you're rubbing in your face when you don't wash your hands before you wash your face. Hydrate whatever it is i didn't even realize that there were so many different types of water that exist but anyway whether it's tap or bottled or uh what do you guys call it green water <laughs> green juice when you put the the vegetables in the water and drink it i don't do that but big up yourself if you do that another thing is wash your face twice I read on this blog, I think it was a dermatologist, no, it was definitely a dermatologist who said it, and she said that the first time you wash your face, you are really just rubbing the dirt all over your face, you're not getting off the dirt, so you want to wash your face twice. Guys, the other tip is use a hydrating cleanser, like I told you before, this is the one I use, but you're really supposed to use a cleanser that suits your skin. Also, it is important that you moisturize your skin just because some people feel like because they have oily skin that the oil is already moisturizing their skin, but no, you want to moisturize your skin. This one is important. So a lot of people when they're doing their skin routine, I realize they leave out their lips. You really want to seal in moisture in your lips. You don't want to have chapped lips. What I use is regular, plain, old, good old Vaseline, the one in the blue jar, yes, that one. Or I use this, which is also from Vaseline, the Vaseline Lip Therapy, and I use the cocoa butter one because it's just very gentle. So you wanna get really good, a really good cleansing, you really wanna get a really good moisturizer, 
with SPF if you can and keep those in your routine keep your routine simple try out different products see what works for you and most importantly get professional advice don't go using everything on your skin that you hear people talk about even what I'm seeing here you want to make sure that you are using the right products on your skin so guys thank you so much for watching this video i really hope it was helpful and that you guys will have great skin and as usual don't forget to share this video don't forget to like it and also subscribe to my channel please, please. and i will see you guys in the next video bye